He became the archetypal tin pot dictator, clinging on to power, wrapping himself in the flag. Hyperinflation turned the breadbasket of Africa into a basket case. Everyone else was to blame, but there was special condemnation for the old colonial power. And when they look at their little island, the little Brit British Isles, there. But it wasn't always like that. Robert Mugabe was once a guest of the Queen. The Commonwealth held up Zimbabwe as a beacon of democracy. <laughs> When white rule in southern Rhodesia was overturned, Mugabe became the first president of Zimbabwe. A brutal crackdown on political opponents came early on. There are no tears today from the many Zimbabweans forced into exile. They were wishing or hoping that one day there will be a day of justice where this, the perpetrator of the genocide would face justice, but for Mugabe, he has escaped justice as far as we are concerned. Shamefully, the West only really noticed the real Mugabe once he started targeting the white farmers. They were bullied and murdered off their land. The once thriving agriculture sector collapsed. Mugabe deserves his legacy as a liberation hero who was tortured and imprisoned under the old racist white regime. And, it, and it's right that Zimbabweans salute that, but equally, to be honest, he turned into betraying all those values of the freedom struggle, becoming corrupt, becoming violent towards any opposition, bankrupting the country. It was a tragedy. He was finally forced from power two years ago by his former right-hand man. But nothing much has changed in the Zimbabwe created in the image of one man. I don't have regrets at all. None.